Hello friends, myself Rajendra Mahajan presenting my video on linear differential equation case number 2 for PID. If we go by shortcut method, uh, to find its solution, we write down the auxiliary equation. Here the auxiliary equation is dq plus 1 equal to 0. Finding the roots of this cubic equation by synthetic division technique. Uh, coefficient of d cube is 1, then d square absent, then d is absent, and then constant term 1. Here the sum of the term is not equal to 0, therefore 1 is not the root. Then we check whether minus 1 is the root. For that, the shortcut method is sum of the odd coefficient. Therefore, 1 plus 0 is 1 and sum of even coefficient 0 plus 1 is 1 equal and therefore we can take minus 1 as the required root directly. Uh, taking this one as it is, 1 into this minus 1 we get minus 1, 0 plus minus 1 we get minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1 1, 0 plus 1 1, 1 into minus 1 minus 1, sum is 0 and as the last sum is 0, minus 1 is the root. If one factor is removed from this dq plus 1, the remaining factor is d square minus d plus 1 equals to 0, a quadratic factor, a quadratic equation and then solving this quadratic equation for d by formula minus b minus of minus 1 we get plus 1 plus minus root of b square minus 1 square is 1 minus 4 a 1 c 1 and divided by 2 a a is 1 and then it is 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 we get root of minus 3 divided by 2. Uh, square root of minus 1 is i and therefore and dividing by 2 separately we get 1 by 2 plus minus root 3 by 2 into i. Roots are imaginary. These two roots are imaginary. And the first one is a real root. The combination of two types of roots and therefore the complementary function for real it is c1 e raised to minus x and for this alpha plus minus i beta a way to write down cf is e raised to alpha x here alpha is 1 by 2 therefore e raised to 1 by 2 times x c1 cos beta plus c2 sin beta x already c1 is used therefore we take next c2 sin of root 3 by 2 x plus c3 cos of root 3 by 2 x and we call this equation 1 if problem is asked for 4 marks the scheme of marking for this step one mark if you get this step as correct then you will get uh, one mark for that we require to find out pi and for that if you observe the, the term on the right hand side it is in the form of sine ax plus b or cos ax plus b for that root is d square is replaced by minus a square, a square with minus sign. This is not minus a bracket square. Be careful. We have to replace d square by a square with minus sign, means minus a square. Uh, here, particular integral that is pi is obtained by again inverse operator 1 upon f of d. Here it is d cube plus 1 which we have to operate on sine of 2x minus 1 
sin ax plus b type of term. The rule is d square replaced by minus a square. It is minus a is here 2 coefficient of x. Therefore, 2 square is 4. Therefore, replace d square by minus 4. We have uh, here the term is d cube. That d cube term we can rewrite as d into d square plus 1 operated on sine of 2x minus 1. Replacing d square by minus 4, we have 1 upon minus 4 times d plus 1 into sine of 2x minus 1. Uh, for further replacement, the term of d square is absent here and therefore we rationalize this multiplying and dividing by its conjugate. The conjugate is therefore 1 upon 1 minus 4d. The conjugate, conjugate of that term is 1 plus 4d divided by 1 plus 4d. And into sine of 2x minus 1. It is 1 plus 4d as it is no change. 1 upon a plus b a minus b. Its product is a square minus b square. Standard result. And therefore we get a square as 1. Minus b square. 4 square 16 d square which we have to operate on sine of 2x minus 1 and as we have the term of d square once again replace it by a minus 4 and therefore we have therefore this 1 plus 4d we keep as it is in the numerator 1 plus 4d 1 upon d square replaced by minus 4 Therefore, 1 minus minus, it is 16 times d square, d square is replaced by minus 4, operated on sine of 2x minus 1, 64 is the 64, minus minus plus, 64 plus 1, we get 1 by 65, uh, 1 into sine of 2x minus 1, we get that term as sine of 2x minus 1, plus 4 times a d of this, d stands for derivative, therefore differentiating this sign term, the derivative of sign is cos 2x minus 1, chain rule, uh, differentiating this term with respect to x, uh, derivative of 2x with respect to x is 2, and therefore we have the final answer as this final value for pi as 1 by 65, 4 to the 8 cos of 2x minus 1 and plus sine of 2x minus 1. We call as equation 2 pi. Uh, if we have all the steps correct, then you will get 2 marks for this, for this part. You will get 2 marks. Then Final solution is addition of equation 1 and equation 2. That is complete solution is CF plus PI. Complete solution is given by complementary function is it is always for the dependent variable. Here dependent variable is Y. Equation 1 is C1 e raised to minus X plus e raised to 1 by 2 X C2 cos of sine root 3 by 2x c3 cos of root 3 by 2x this is equation number 1 and then pi 1 by 65 8 times cos of 2x minus 1 plus sine of 
2x minus 1 as a required solution or required answer. And if we have this correct one, if this step is correct, then you will get one mark. And therefore, if we take the addition of all this, one mark for the CF, two marks for PI, and this one mark for the final answer, total four marks. Please like my video, share it, as well as subscribe to my channel. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe my channel. And to receive the notification for my all such type of new videos, please press the bell icon. Thank you. Thanks for watching.